Hi to anyone watching my informative speech. My name is Jim Nevis. I'm 21 years old and I like watching Netflix with my friends. Today we'll be talking about the benefits of immediate benefits of journaling and the long-term benefits of journaling. <clears throat> For the immediate benefits of journaling, you're able to self-reflect on your emotions. What I mean by that is you're able to, you know, write down your emotions, whether they be sad, happy, mad, or anxious. And when you write them down, you're kind of, you know, making your brain say, hey, this happened today because of this and that. And once you've written it down, you're able to, you know, at the very end, self-commentate about it and see what you can do differently for the next day. Another good thing of immediate benefits of journaling is you're able to organize your thoughts and ideas throughout the day. Now, I'm sure that we've all had the idea of a million dollar idea. And I'm sure that we're like, oh, man, I just can't think of it. And that's the problem is you can't think of it. And with journaling, you're actually able to write down all of your million dollar ideas, whether they be true or false. Or, you know, another good thing that I use it for is journaling the things that your mother tells you to do, whether that be take out the trash on, you know, Wednesdays or Monday, Mondays, or whether that be make sure to, you know, clean your room. That's another good thing. Able to organize all your thoughts and ideas in a composed pile neatly, and it shows well time management skills. Another, the last good thing about immediate uh, benefits of journaling is you're able to make goals and achieve them in real time. So what I mean by that is, you know, when usually when we think of goals, we think of New Year's resolutions and how they're this big grand deal and oftentimes people kind of give up on them. But in reality, goals can be very small. They can be, I want to talk to this person today, or I want to do this, or I want to experience more happy moments. And you're able to write that down in your journal and at the very end of the day, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I did do this and I did do that and I did talk to this person. So you're achieving them in real time. So it feels like you actually are doing something. And that's a really nice benefit because you're giving yourself this kind of motivation to keep doing it over and over and over again. For my second point, I would talk about the long-term benefits of journaling. So one of the long-term benefits of journaling is learning healthy self-care methods. Usually when we hear about self-care methods, we hear take the day off, you know, kind of stick to yourself, don't reach out to the public, which is completely normal. But another way to learn a healthy self-care method is journaling your thoughts, you know, able to express yourself freely on your paper where you're not, you know, judged by others or others' opinions or, you know, ask people ask you, what do you mean by that? You know, you're able to kind of write down how you feel freely, express it and kind of go from there. So my experience with journaling is that I first started uh, my journal about two years ago. This is my journal, you know, small little one, nothing too big. But uh, I used it about two years ago and I've been using it ever since then. I kind of write it. I first started it because I wasn't really sure how to express my emotions to my family members or to anyone kind of around me. And I felt like I was ostracized. Uh, so journaling helped me write down those emotions, you know, raw and Put them on paper because i always say that when words fall they land on paper where they're able to survive and you know pick up a whole new life and from that point on i've always journaled you know whether it be an abstract thought or a cohesive thought i've just kind of always stuck to journaling because it allows me to put all those emotions down um which kind of leads into how writing is oftentimes easier than speaking about them I'm sure that there are moments in our lives where we don't really know how to talk to our parents about a certain situation or significant other or friends. And what journaling does is when you've had those moments or, you know, ideas, you're able to kind of just write it down and um, you learn from it. And um, if you feel comfortable enough sharing those ideas and thoughts in the journal for the day, you're able to give it to your parent, your significant other, or maybe even a therapist. And from there, you can start a healthy conversation about, okay, you wrote this down, like, do you want to talk about why that felt this way? Or, you know, like, just kind of start from there. And it's really good. And that kind of leads into building the foundation for a healthy uh, support system. Journaling for me is whenever I journal, like, I journal about like, okay, well, this made me feel this way. And I'll give it to someone that, you know, maybe did it by accident or did it by, you know, on purpose. And I'll be like, hey, this happened and I'm going to give it to you. So then that way, you know, we're able to communicate a lot better. And so instead of using our actual words, like speaking them, we're able to write down and, you know, communicate that way. Lastly, my final point is about finding happiness and gratitude in life. A gratitude list. So a gratitude list for me it's after time, every time after I write my journal, whether it be a good day, a bad day, or whatever, 
I write a gratitude list and usually I write five things or anything more. And this is a little snippet from my gratitude list is uh, Studio Ghibli movies, sunsets, naps, relaxing, and my friends. Um, Cause I feel like every day we kind of hustle and bustle on our current day to day life. And we don't really, you know, appreciate what we have or who we have and everything. So a gratitude night, the gratitude list is nice to kind of look back on those emotions. And another thing is you're able to accept the bad days for what they are. And I know saying that is very hard to like, oh, that was a bad day. But what journaling does is it allows you to kind of look back on the day and reread it, you know, after you've written down and self-commentated on keep rereading it until you finally accepted it for what it is. Um... So that really helps it all a lot. Uh, in conclusion today, we talked about the long-term benefits and the immediate benefits of journaling and how it can help you out in the future. And if you have any time in, you know, your past time, please pick up this hobby because it can change your life. And I actually have a video by Kurz Getzi, which got me into uh, journaling. And I'll leave it linked.